Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Juvita Presti. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you different forms of the select query, which I'm going to apply on the database that I created previously in uh, the videos which I've uh, linked down below. So if you haven't created the database, you can go ahead and create them and then return to this video. Now in this video, um, you will see on top of your screen the query that I need to implement. So the question is given on top and the same question I'm going to implement here. Feel free to pause the video whenever you feel like you want to implement whatever I'm doing. And if I finish it, so if I finish uh, answering one question, you can pause and do it yourself and then come back to the video. So let us see here the first question which says list the first and last names of all employees now this means i need to use the employees table and let me show you the schema of the employees table it looks like this it contains these five uh, columns and from here i need to display only the first name and the last name to do that i need to write select first name comma last name from employees and it gives me the names of all the employees if i want all the columns then i need to write select star from employees but because i want only these two i can just specify those two and get those two uh, columns only let's see the next query the next query says list all attributes of the projects with revenue greater than forty thousand dollars so in this case i need to list out all attributes which means i need to write select star from projects but before i do that let me show you the schema of the projects table this is the schema here you can see that uh, there is a revenue column. Using this, I can find out if the revenue is greater than 40,000 or not. So I can write select star from projects, where then I simply need to mention revenue greater than 40,000. And this is what I get as a result of this. The only reason why the output is coming in this manner in different lines is because description column is having a size of 200 which um, even though we are st storing very few characters inside it is affecting the way the result is displayed which is all right uh, because you can still see the whole row here this is one row where the revenue is one lakh this is second row where the revenue is uh, two lakh forty two thousand both are greater than forty thousand and if you want to verify your um answer if you want to verify the result you can uh, check in the projects table select star from project and you can see that projects actually contains four rows but the first row has a revenue zero so that's not selected and the last row has a revenue of um uh, 18,150 so that is not selected either now let's move on to the next question the next question says list the department codes of projects with revenue between 100,000 and 150,000 revenue between 100,000 and 150,000 once again we are going to use the projects table and make sure you describe your table uh, just so you can know which column names are there and um, you can uh, get the schema of this database from those two videos which i explained there's a document also in those two uh, in the description box which shows you the schema so if you have the schema with you then that's uh, well and good if you don't then you can just use the describe function and see what columns are present in your table.
Now from here, I need to list out all the department codes of the projects. So I am going to write down select and the name of the column is depth code. From projects. And then there is a condition that says revenue should be between 100,000 and 150,000. So I'm going to go to the next line and write down where revenue. Now I have an option to write this using a combination of less than equal to and greater than equal to. But I can also write it using the between operation, which makes it easier because then I just need to write 100,000 and 150,000. And it gives me as a result only one depth code. Now to check if this is uh, correct or not, I can uh, find out all the depth codes as well as the revenues from the projects table. And you can see this is the result. So in the result, I'm having two project, uh, one project, which is, which is belonging to a double C and T depart, uh, department. And that's the only one that fits the criterion of being uh, of the revenue being between 100,000 and 150,000. So that means our query is correct. Now the next question that we are going to answer is list the project IDs for the projects that started on or before July 1, 2004. Let me clear the screen and once again we will be using the projects table in this. And what I need to list out uh, is project ID. So I'm going to write select project ID from projects. And then it says these should have been started on or before July 1, 2004. So I can use the start date column here and write down where start date less than equal to and on or before so less than equal to you can compare dates like that so this is first july 2004 remember to use single quotes because it's a string and it gives me these three project ids and i can of course verify these three by checking the project ids and the start dates from projects table and you can see this is the actual data and all these three projects are starting before the given date which is 1st July 2004 because the years are lesser but this one is 2005 so uh, that is not selected. Let's clear the screen and move on to the next question that says list the ID and descriptions of the projects under the departments with code ACCNT or CNSLT. So in this case, we are going to take only the ID and descriptions. Let me des describe the project projects table. From here, I only want the project ID and the description of all the projects from projects. The condition is that the depth code should be equal to A double C N T or it should be equal to C N S L T. And this is what I get as a result. Now, in this case, notice that uh, there are several mistakes uh, you can make. The first mistake is that you might just write down depth code equal to a double C N T or C N S L T. You cannot do that. If you have two conditions, you have to put both of them fully by writing the column name. The second mistake is using and instead of or. If you use and instead of or, you will get no rows. And I can show you that here. So using up arrow key, I'm getting my previous query and now down arrow key and instead of or I'm changing it to and and you can see it says no rows selected. The reason for this is 
uh, is that if you're writing and you're trying to say that in one single row you are looking for a double cnt as well as cnslt as a depth code which is not possible so that's why um, you need to use or now let's also check our result so i'm just going to get the project id and depth code from projects and you can see uh, that these three projects last three they are belonging to either awcnt or cnslt so those are the three we are getting here as a result now let's proceed to the next question which says list all of the information about employees with last names that have exactly eight characters and end in where let's clear the screen this is an interesting query it use make makes use of a uh, of an operation in sql called the like operation and this will be using the employees table because uh, we need to get the last names so this is what the employees table looks like and we need to list all information which means we need to do select star from employees where and in the where part i need to mention that the last name where last name should have eight characters and it should end with the letters w a r e so i'm going to write here like operation like then in single quotes i will put four underscores one two three and four these stand for one character so one underscore means one character and that could be any character after these four characters the next four characters i want them to be w a r e so i'm going to write them like this single quote and semicolon and you can see this is what i'm getting as a result and if you actually check all the employees then from here number three and four are the only ones that are ending with w a r e and having eight characters in the last name the sixth entry that you see is also ending in w a r e but does not have uh, four characters before that so total is not eight characters now however if i want to match any name any last name that ends in w a r e i can just modify my previous query which is right here and instead of putting these four underscores i can just put a percentage sign when i put a percentage sign it gives me all three people whose names end with w a r e percentage means a variable length of characters so percentage could also mean zero characters if somebody's name last name was just w a r e then even that would uh, come up here so that's how you can um, use the like operation in sql let's move to the next question the next question says list the id and last name of all employees who work for depart for department a double c n t and make more than thirty thousand dollars let's clear the screen and once again we'll be using the employees table from here i need to list out the id so employee id the last name from employees where and now the depth code must be equal to a double c n t and make more than thirty thousand means their salary is greater than thirty thousand and we put a semicolon and i'm getting only one one employee which we can verify by checking all the data in the employees table and you can see um, there's only one employee from this department, A double C N T, 
and his salary is 40,000. So it fits our description here. And that's why we are getting this employee ID and last name. Now let's move on to the next question. This says list all finished projects with their revenue. So let's clear the screen. So what uh, we have a projects table and here we have a column called top date. So if the stop date of the project is present, that means that project must be finished, must have been uh, over. So, and if the stop date is not present, which means it is null, then that means that project is still going on. So you need to write a query that says that stop date must not be null. So we have to write select, and we need to list all projects. It hasn't been mentioned which uh, columns in particular. So I'm just going to list the project ID from projects. And I also need their revenue as per the question from projects. Where stop date, I want the stop date to not be null. So you need to write where stop date is not null and press semicolon and hit enter. And I'm getting only one such project. So if you check your projects uh, table and find out all the project IDs and the revenues and the start date, then you will notice uh, not the start date, we are interested in the stop date. So the stop date, you will notice that there is in fact only one project that has a stop date. Others are uh, having no stop date, which means they haven't finished yet. They are ongoing projects. So this is the only one and that's the only one that is getting displayed as a result of our query. Now let's see the next query after clearing the screen here. The next query says display details of all employees not working in CNSLT department from employees table. So for this, I need to write down select star from employees. And before that, let me just describe the employees table. Okay, I need to list all details, which means I need to do select star from employees. And at the same time, it says that these employees should not be working in consulting department. So remember, it should not be working in consulting department. So for this, you need to write where depth code not equal to CNSLT. Now not equal to in SQL is written like this by using uh, less than and greater than sign combined together. This means not equal to. So where depth code not equal to C and S L T. And you can see as a result of this, I am getting these three people and I can check there, check the actual data from employees. So there are one, two and three, all three are not working in consulting department, uh, but four and five are and six is null, six does not have a depth code. That is why it is not displayed. Now, next we have number 10, which says list all projects that started between Jan 20, 2001 and April 2002. So let me clear the screen. This is once again, the use of between operation and for this, I'm going to use the projects table again. And you need to list all the projects. So I'm just going to list the project ID. Project ID of all projects. With the condition that the starting date, start date should be between 
Jan 2001. So you can write down uh, 1st Jan 2001. And the second date I need is April. So you can write 1st April 2002. And I'm getting two projects. So let's verify the answer by finding all project IDs and dot dates from the projects table. And you can see um, that EMP Happy is starting on 14th March 2002, which lies between this time. And also Robo SPSC is same time, but the others are one in 2003, this in five. So they are not coming up in our result. So that's how you can write different, uh, in different ways, the select query. And in my next video, I'm going to continue with this uh, practical, but I'm going to show you a little bit different type of query, like, you know, using the delete or update queries. Also some uh, data definition language queries. So I'll see you there. Thank you for watching.